Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am talking about crisis pregnancy centers, also known as anti-abortion centers. What are they? What do you need to know about them? And how do you avoid them? That's what we're talking about today. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, author, educator, and this channel is the health class you wish you had in high school, and trust me, I wish I had this one. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload, and go ahead and follow me on my other socials at Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, where we're having fun all week long. Okay, this episode is near and dear to my heart. As you know, I very much believe in a person's right to privacy, freedom, access to healthcare, and yes, that includes of an abortion if that's what they want. And I have found throughout my work on social media that that a lot of people have no idea these types of fake clinics exist and you need to because they're everywhere and it's getting worse. So the correct term for these types of centers that I'm referring to today are anti-abortion centers. That is a new updated terminology that we are suggested that we should use because that's actually what they are and that's what they do. They are also known as crisis pregnancy clinics, pregnancy resource centers, and those words can be confusing because when you hear the word clinic, you think it's a clinic and you hear, you know, pregnancy resource center, you think, oh, they've got legitimate resources and they're just here to help me. And I wish that was true. I really do. It's not. There are over 2,500 of these centers in the United States, way more than any kind of abortion clinic. And what they really are, what's really behind them is really unsettling. And we're going to get to that. But first, let me tell you what these clinics usually look like and what they offer. So keep in mind that the entire purpose of their existence is to talk you out of having an abortion. That is literally it. Now they will say that they're doing other things, but this is truly why they're there. So let's talk about their tactics and how they get there. The first thing is that you'll see their websites all look similar. They almost always feature a black or brown person on the cover of the website because they're targeting marginalized people because they know that they're more vulnerable and they're likely to need this free help or access to healthcare. So they're right there waiting, kind of drawing them in. It's like really gross. It's not because they have like equity and inclusion on the top of their minds, trust me. Their websites are super confusing because they usually co-opt the language and use the language of the pro-abortion movement. So they'll say, my body, my choice and understanding how Roe fell and like life after Roe and what is an abortion and they will talk about abortion in such a way that you think that they might even offer abortion. They'll talk about the pill versus surgical abortion, like in such detail that you think, oh, they must be offering abortions. Now, some will say that they don't offer abortions and others are totally sketchy. And they'll say, if you have questions about scheduling an abortion or think that you might want one, call us to talk about your options totally trying to get you in there to talk you out of it. Trust me, they're not gonna refer you. They always, always, always offer free pregnancy tests. That's like always on the sign right outside. And they make them sound like they're these magical tests. They'll call them medical grade pregnancy tests. All they are are the same pea stick tests that you can get on a dollar store or Amazon or yeah, even at a real doctor's office because that's the same stuff we use, but they make it sound like it's some magical thing. They will also very often offer free ultrasounds. Now these ultrasounds may be performed by trained people, but very often they're not. And so what happens is you get images that are completely wrong or they will even purposely give you the wrong date the wrong due date with the goal that they'll make you think you're earlier than you think you are. So you'll wait too long to get an abortion. And by the time you try to get it somewhere else, you'll be too far along. Or they'll tell you that you're farther along than you actually are. So that way you think you can't get an abortion. And then when you go to get care, you find out that, yeah, actually you could have. So there are multiple instances where they have done this to patients and it's absolutely terrible. These same people who I said may not actually be trained, they may not have background checks. They've also been shown to not adequately clean the vaginal probes that they use. Yeah, they're doing transvaginal ultrasounds and they're doing them on people like minors without background checks, which is, if you ask me, assault. Anyway, what do I know? They will also offer on their websites free things like free diapers and free clothes and assistance, car seats, all the things. But what they don't tell you is that a lot of times all of this stuff is tied to where you have to go to their programs and you have to take classes. And these classes are very much faith-based and religious-based. And that's the other huge thing. Almost nowhere on their front-facing website will you see that they're very much based in Christianity and religion. 
But the second you walk through the door, they talk about prayer and God and they're praying for you. I've had multiple people DM me where they've said they wouldn't let me go. They just sat me in a room and kept saying they were praying for me. They, God didn't want me to abort my baby and blah, blah, blah. Now, religion is fine, right? You do you. It's a free country. But pretending that you're not a religious organization to lure people in and then hit them with all of that and keep going after they say that they don't want that, that is coercion. That is manipulation. That is not medical care. Their website also has tons of misinformation. They will list risks and issues with abortion that are not true, such as cancer and infertility and depression. And these are all completely not true. And the studies they list are crap studies, but it's really hard to know that if you don't have a medical background. And they almost always are located in one of two areas. So economically depressed areas, because again, they're trying to target poor people, or two, like right next to or across the street from a Planned Parenthood or a clinic that provides abortions. Sometimes they've even gone so far as to almost copy the logos so that people will accidentally come into their clinic. Or they'll be out there like as an escort, like you know, pointing people into the parking lot. And these are people who maybe were trying to go to the Planned Parenthood and they think that's where they're going and they're being led astray. Total, total coercion and control. It's disgusting. Now the really gross thing is that who funds them? So the majority of these are funded by donations, usually you know, Christian donations, religious organizations. But the really bad part is how much government funding they get, and it's only getting worse. According to Equity Forward, which is a fantastic resource, I'll put it in my show notes, as of 2022, 17 states have state-funded programs that have gotten state or federal tax dollars, with more trying to pass legislation to do more. And at least 10 of these states have taken funds from the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, or TANF funds. It's supposed to go towards like food and diapers and clothes, you know, like for needy kids and, and stuff. They've used it for these these non-clinics, which is super cool. And in case you haven't heard, Florida, the governor of Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis, recently signed a bill into a law, not in effect yet, but six week ban for abortions in Florida, but it also allocates $25 million for these anti-abortion centers. Cool, right? Okay, so how can you know how these clinics, clinics are out there and what to do? Well, you, you can, Think of all the tactics that I just put out there, the things that you see. If you go to a website and you're like, this feels sketchy, like your gut check isn't right, like you're probably on the right track. You can go ahead and give them a call and just point blank ask and say, do you offer abortions here? Now they may lie to you. Remember that, they, they are not above lying. The other thing that you can do, and I cannot stress this enough, is you can go to exposefakeclinics.com. And this is where other people have listed clinics that you know, put themselves out there as resource centers, but are actually anti-abortion clinics. So you can look at the one that's in your area and see if it's been reported here. If you know of one that you found in your area and it's not yet on that website, you can go ahead and upload it. Spread the word, tell a friend. Friends don't let friends go to anti-abortion clinics. Now, keep in mind that any healthcare provider, if somebody comes in and they're pregnant and they're not sure what to do, we do give full options counseling, which includes continuing the pregnancy and parenting, continuing the pregnancy and adoption, or not continuing the pregnancy. That counseling happens, but in a non-coercive way. And these clinics do the opposite. They might counsel you, but they give you fake information. And really at the end of the day, their goal is to tell you to have a baby and then help you give it up for adoption. It's all about adoption and getting babies out there. It's disgusting. I'll put some more references and resources in the show notes so you can dive into this more, but just make sure that your blood pressure is well controlled before you do it. Okay, that was a really quick video, but I hope that helped. I think it hit the high points. If you've got other questions or thoughts or you want me to dive in more about other topics, leave me a question. And like I said, references, resources in the show notes below. Have a safe week, stay away from these clinics and uh, be safe out there.